Hello everyone, I'm Alessandro Pensanti, I'm the lead developer for Mundanet. Yeah, first, uh, uh, just an apologize from Paul, who's our project manager, who's not, he's on leave at the moment, so I'm uh, doing the presentation on his behalf. Uh, yes, next slide, please. Um, so, um, yeah, I, I won't comment those numbers because I, I don't know how to comment. I'm not on, on this job, so I would skip this and go to, uh, to the next slide. So we have some five sprint goals, and uh, the, these which are to release Modernet 3.0. Uh, to deliver developer web, we have webinar on Moodle Academy to produce developer documentation and to engage the Moodle user association. And also, uh, yeah, we have this uh, working on pro working progress uh, job with the Moodle LMS in for the Moodle LMS integration in uh, with the Moodle LMS team. Next slide, please. Um, yes, last week. Uh, we actually released Moodle, in some way we released Moodle Net 3.0. I say in some way because uh, we didn't actually um, put it in production, so we don't have it in Moodle.net. Uh, but we released it as a, um, as a um, developer environment, on a working developer environment for third-party developers for the community and on the repository and we uh, published it in the in our npm in our um, private npm registry it's not as yet published in the public npm registry because we want to stabilize it a little bit and it has to be to become uh, uh, stable in uh, in upgrading in versions um we have a document a small docu document document uh, for the development environment on this link that you see on the slide. Next slide, please. Um, oh, yes, uh, just a couple of words about Moodle Net 3. Uh, so, uh, previous slide before, uh, still on the previous slide. Moodle Net 3 um, has a big difference. The, big, the bigger difference between Moodle Net 2 and Moodle Net 3 is about extensibility. Um, Moodle Net 3 uh, can be extended by developers, and the Moodle Net 3, moreover, will address also a number of functionality that are missing in version 2, such as uh, an organic uh, permission and user role system, and all the admin pages that are not present in version 2 yet. Um, so, we will actually publish Moodle Net 3 on uh, Moodle.com net as soon as we finish with this the, the development of these new features so uh, another sprint goals was, was has been the um, the opening of the Moodle Academy course uh, the Moodle Net for developers and the first webinar that we had on the third 30th of November uh, that opened this course so we had we have the the recording of this uh, of the webinar that we had a couple of weeks ago uh, you can the link you can just can click on the on the screenshot you see on the slide this is a link to the Moodle Academy page um, after the video after the, sorry after the, the webinar we really get many valuable uh, feedbacks from people who attended it and we opened some discussion on forums and in the in the in the other page in GitLab issues page. Next slide please. Contextually we started uh, redacting develop, uh, documentation for developers. We have a, a quick start page on this link and uh, we are starting, we started uh, checking out the Moodle dev.io repository to insert and uh, to extend it for, with, our, with the Moodle Net section. There we will um, have a throughout documentation for the system 
from the architecture to quick start guides and uh, API, API guides and API documentations. Um, yeah, next slide, please. Yeah, also, uh, lately, even before the, 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 the webinar, uh, but even more for, uh, after the webinar, we had um, much engagement for the community and special, especially from the, uh, from the Moodle uh, User Association, in particular from Japan and Italy. Um, so we engaged them to be part of our product discovery and uh, some of their representatives will join us or will join our product advisory group that we will be setting up in uh, early in the coming year. 